Hello students, I am Bapul Mattal and in this session I will discuss accounting and reporting for mandatorily redeemable financial instrument. Now, here we are talking about financial instrument that are issued in the form of shares. So we are talking about mandatorily redeemable preferred stock. This is a good example. All right. A mandatorily redeemable financial instrument is a financial instrument that includes an unconditional obligation requiring the issuer to redeem. So there is an unconditional obligation to redeem the instrument. How? By transferring the assets and when this redemption should happen, this redemption should happen at a date specified or upon an event that is certain to occur. So there is an unconditional obligation to redeem and that redemption will happen at a date specified or upon an event that is certain to occur. For example, You issue 1,000 shares of preferred stock to A and these are redeemable after 10 years or upon an event that is certain to occur. So these 1,000 shares of preferred stock that are issued to A are redeemable after 10 years. Or these 1,000 shares of preferred stock which are issued to A are redeemable upon an event that is certain to occur. For example, death of A. This is an event that is certain to occur. These are mandatorily redeemable preferred stock. So a mandatorily redeemable financial instrument is a financial instrument that includes an unconditional obligation to redeem. There is no condition attached to it. You have to redeem. You are issuing shares. You are issuing the financial instrument. You have to redeem. How? By transferring the assets. That is, for example, you pay cash. or transfer any other asset okay so you have to redeem by transferring assets when when you have to redeem at a specified date maybe after 10 years or on this particular date or maybe after 8 months whatever or these are redeemable upon an event on happening of an event that is certain to occur I give you another example. So if these 1000 shares of preferred stock that are issued to A are redeemable, when inflation rate touches 10%, if the country's inflation rate touches 10%, so these are redeemable upon an event. What is that event? That inflation rate touches 10%. But is that even certain to occur? Answer is no. Not necessarily. So can you say that these 1000 shares of preferred stock that are issued to A are mandatorily redeemable financial instrument? Answer is no. This is not mandatorily redeemable financial instrument because this financial instrument is redeemable upon an event that is not certain to occur. So a mandatorily redeemable financial instrument is a financial instrument that includes an unconditional obligation to redeem on a specified date or upon an event that is certain to occur. Now, how do you record a mandatorily redeemable financial instrument? How do you record that? 
it is recorded as a liability because you have to redeem. So you record it as a liability. So what journal entry you will record? In this case, for example, if you're getting cash from me, so general entry that you would do, cash, debit, and liability credit. You name this liability. It is shares subject to mandatory redemption. You credit this. And you record this at fair value. All right. So record it at fair value. So if shares issued to A have a fair value of $90,000. So you record this. This is a liability. If this preferred stock is not mandatorily redeemable, then, then you do not record a liability. Then you record equity. How you record that? Let's see. Then you are receiving $90,000. This is the fair value. And you do not credit liability in this case. You credit preferred share capital, preferred stock. All right, students, I hope this video was helpful. We'll connect again. Goodbye.